So hello everyone, welcome to Cyber Cypher and today we're gonna just see how can you fix grub bootloader error in your PC or laptop. Well commonly when these guys will appear in your PC or laptop when you dual boot your OS with Windows like Windows 10 and with Ubuntu or any other Linux or any other thing so now what we're gonna do is to fix that you'll be needing another PC and I'm gonna make a bootable drive first so let us go to for that you'll be needed to get into your browser or anything and just just type um, Rufus and then hit enter the first link just click on that those so this is the one that we're gonna download so you can have just just scroll down and from here you can see that Rufus 3.11 over there it's 1.1 MB only just click on that and then it will automatically install on your computer so I've already installed that so I'm just opening Rufus and you'll be needed to uh, take a pen drive and I'll show you how can you make a bootable drive in your smartphone or a tablet I'll show you that later and now as you can see this is the uh, my pen drive that I've plugged in in my laptop previously so from here what you're gonna do is you have to just select it so click select and then before that, you'll be needed the Windows 10's ISO file. The link is available in the description down below. Just check it out to download this Windows 10 ISO file. So just click that and click open. And it is simply like Kali Linux, but not not same as Kali Linux. You'll be needed to change something. So here in Partition Scheme, you have to click EMBR, and in the file system, you have to click NTFS and here you you can see that BIOS or UEFI or hyphen CSM system so just click start but guys I've already made a bootable drive which is right over here so I've already made it so I'm just closing this window so now I'm gonna just tell you how can you easily just fix the grub bootloader error okay so see you in the grub bootloader error one hour later so viewers as you can see I'm sh I have I have shut down my computer or laptop and I'm just powering it on it's powering so it's booting as you can see there you can see the grub bootloader error which is nothing but the no such partition entering rescue mode grub rescue so make sure that every drive that has attached on your laptop is disconnected and only the bootable drive is plugged in this is the bootable drive and make sure that everything has plugged out so from here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna enter a command sometimes even if you have not deleted that the system may have been corrupted inside it so for that what you have to do is click set and from here you can see there is it so from here you have to just type set we have to set set boot okay set boot equals and you should just copy these guys over here and then after that again set prefix you have to click set prefix and then you have to just copy is equals to and then you have to copy all the files over here in this ht0 ms dos file over here and after that what i'm gonna do is just it enter everything and after that 
you have to just type ins mod normal you have to type ins mod normal and then hit enter and you uh, you may have i'm not i have not clicked enter in the previous command so i'm have i'm receiving this message you will not receive this message if you have corrupted your operating system so from here you have to type normal and you can see there is no command and if you type this you will automatically get into the grub boot loader but in my case i have deleted the partition so the i have dual booted ubuntu so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just shut down this guy so click on the power button and now as you can see make sure that you have your bootable drive plugged in in your laptop or pc you can see it so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just place my camera this is so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna just get into a boot option boot menu okay many many laptops has a particular unique key for its boot menu and my in my case i have lenovo thinkpad over here which is nothing but f12 so i'm just clicking the power button and then I'm, I'm, I'm pressing the f12 over here so this is the boot menu and it's loading so as you can see there is the sand disk cruiser blade over here just hit enter so hit enter and then it will load for some time you have to wait you can see it's loading so guys the windows has booted so this is windows 10's installation media and then what i'm gonna do is i have my mouse over here and then i'm gonna click next and from here you may you can see that there's the install now option is over there and we and when you note it carefully you can see that there is a repair your computer option is over there just click on that and after that you can see there is many more options there is three options just click troubleshoot and then troubleshoot click command prompt and then type these commands it is about administrator so you have to type these commands okay so from here you may you have to type disk part okay everyone you can see it i'm close up here right? so disk part and then it's loading for some time so it's still loading so it is it, yeah there is it so this is disk part and type boot rec slash sorry space forward slash fix mbr okay everyone fix mbr oops sorry um boot rec slash you can see boot rec slash fix mbr so from here click exit so from here just type boot rec just don't follow those steps that i have entered previously okay just type these steps okay boot rec slash fix mbr okay boot rec slash fix mbr wait and then you can see operation completed successfully from here you have to type boot rec slash fix boot you can see it there is it so boot rec slash fix boot you can see that there will be access denied but in some case you will be getting it as a operation completed successfully but don't worry i'm also getting the same problem which is nothing but access is denied so from here you have to type free build bcd okay just type rebuild bcd and then hit enter what 
okay so i think there's a mistake so don't worry just get into disk part okay now you have to type disk part and then just wait so there is it there so there it is the disk part is over there so from here you can see this type list disk okay list disk hit enter so there is the disk and in the disk 0 you can see there it is and it's about 931 GB where this is where my Windows 10 has installed disk 1 is my pen drive or my bootable drive which I've plugged it over here so from here click select select disk 0 okay click select disk 0 and hit hit enter you'll get this and then you can see there it is disk 0 is now selected the selected disk so now from here just type list volume okay list volume in the disk so list volume so there it is so you, and from here you have to just see your thing okay so in my case I have volume 1 as my Windows 10 installed partition you can have system reserve over here and this EST ISO is my pen drive and then this is my partition it's my recovery partition and here it is 930 GB so this is where I've installed Windows just click select okay just type select uh, select volume 1 okay so volume 1 please make sure okay please make sure that everything is all right so volume 1 and hit enter so guys as you can see volume 1 is the selected volume so from here what you have to do is click assign okay assign or before that just type re build okay bcd rebuild bcd over here and then from here just type assign okay it is loading so you can see disk part successfully assign the drive letter or mount point so from here what you have to do is click exit and then click exit again so we're done so from here what you have to do is click continue exit and continue to windows 10 and you're done so in now you will be getting windows 10 you can see boom so windows 10 is here you you should do this and you can do this without reinstalling windows or losing any of your files hope you learned something new in this video and please make sure that you click subscribe like and share this video and thank you bye